Returning to our math example here, uh, right now, as I said earlier, this will not work as is. What needs to happen is this information needs to be contained within something that will trigger the calculation because a web document was not naturally built to perform calculations like this. It became manipulated for it, but it wasn't naturally built for it. So we need to work with what are called functions. A function is an a way to identify a similar list of commands that perform an action. So in short with that, what we're going to do is we're going to take this calculation and we're going to place it inside a function. We're going to call it function add numbers. Notice how I put it above, and this is going to be y here in a second. Function add numbers, we're then going to use parentheses here. Those parentheses hold what are called parameters. Those parentheses hold what are called parameters. And with the parameters, we can pass certain information to it, like the time or an amount of money. We can do some different things. But right now, you're just going to know it as function add numbers. And after the if you don't have any, which we don't here, any uh, parameters, then we're just going to leave those blank and we're going to put a left brace. Those are This is called a brace right here. And to end our calculation then, we need a right brace. If we don't have the proper alignment of braces, then our program will not work. So once again, a function takes the same action, similar action that we want to perform, contains it within one area that we can call to to perform a calculation. Inside the parentheses are what are called parameters. And then anything within that function is contained between a left brace and a right brace.